Hello YouTube. Today I'd like to talk to you about growing watermelons. First I'd like to tell you my uh, credentials and why I am qualified to teach you about watermelon growing. For the last five years I'm the North American watermelon growing champion. Uh, I am, I have grown, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for growing the largest watermelons, three different species. Uh, I can grow watermelon in the winter time. I'll show you how to do that later on, you know, with very little sun. And uh, first of all, let me take you outside to my garden where I got some watermelons growing. These have only been going, I planted these like two weeks ago and they already have watermelons growing. So, you know, let me take you out there right now. I'll show you how to do it. Come on, follow me. Whoops. Okay, so you get your seed, plant it in the ground, water it. And like maybe uh, two days, three days, you'll get a little watermelon plant about that big. Now, if you don't plant the seed right, it might take like around 10 days or so. But if you do it right, like I do it, like two days, you know, it'll, it'll get like that big. And you want to take it out, plant it in your garden, you know, and then uh, water it every day, twice a day. But instead of watering with normal water, you want to use miracle Grow. You know, uh, you put in, let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to mix up the water that I use. You water your plants twice a day, and you use this mixture in your water every time and they will grow big and fast. Now I get this from my uncle. He, he, uh, he gets it from his work. He works at Monsanto's and uh, he's got a whole shitload of it but because uh, they, were, they were just going to throw it away. Can you believe that? They wanted him to burn it but he just kept it. So uh, we've been using it and this shit is awesome but be careful not to go. If you want to buy some you know hit up my website one.com and I'll send you some in the mail. But you gotta give me money though. But don't tell, no, you gotta give me cash money, okay? And uh, I'll give you some. Oh shit. Don't let any get on your skin, and don't go through the airports with it. Be, don't go through the airport, because it sets off the radiation, you know, sensors. But uh, it makes your watermelons grow fast, man. You're gonna be the envy of your neighborhood. Everyone's gonna be pissed. You better watch your back. Okay, I'm gonna show you. And after you water it with the miracle grow twice a day, don't ever use normal water because it needs nutrients. I mean, do you, can you live off of just water? No. And neither can your watermelons. They need to have nutrients just like you need to have nutrients. Remember that. Okay. They could actually, if you put blood in the dirt, that's really good, but I'll get to that later. You know, goats, if you can get some goats, if they're alive, that's a lot better. The watermelons love live goats. But uh, that's one secret that I'm not going to tell you about because that's what makes me number one. Okay, anyway. So once you get them started, they'll start to make flowers. And then uh, the flowers will start to get a lot of bees, like swarming them, right? And you want to kill those bees, put some poison on all those bees because you're going to want to pollinate the flowers and the bees will get, they'll, they'll like, they'll get in the way. And you want to get a little, a little Q-tip or something, you know, put the pollen, spread the pollen all around. And pretty soon you'll have some big ass watermelons. Let me show you what I got here. Okay, I planted these uh, this hill about two weeks ago, and uh, here's watermelon on this side. That's some cantaloupe over there, and uh, you can see this little watermelon started here. Uh, there's quite a few in there. If I can find them, they're hard to find now. I mean that one just that one just was a flower yesterday and now it's a watermelon like probably in about a couple days I'll be able to pick it but uh yeah so it's growing pretty fast you know these vines will all be at, like way you won't even be able to see any of that like in like four days there's my dog but yeah that's my watermelon I just want to leave it on this little guy here I'm just gonna leave it here for like five minutes because you can see it growing literally like you can see it growing okay so I'm gonna leave it on this frame here for uh, I don't know like a couple minutes because hopefully it'll be my little thumbnail and this is a baby watermelon there's a bunch of them in there see look that bee poison the poison didn't work yet I have to spray again I gotta kill those bees because I like to go pollinate the flowers and they get in the way, see? When I try to pollinate, 
the bees like they're all over the place but yeah so this is my watermelon you should you should really believe what I say because I'll, I'll put a link to all my awards that I've won in watermelon growing and competition and uh, I probably know more about watermelons than any other member of the Caucasoid race I mean there's probably other people that know more about watermelons but that's not really fair no I'm just kidding I know more than they do I know more than anyone about watermelon if anyone says shit about watermelon and that's contrary to mine what I say and they are just full of shit and they're player haters they say they talk shit they can't their watermelons can't step to my watermelons, I'm sorry. You know, they want to fly down here, bring their watermelon, slap, put it on the table, you know, that's what I always say. Slap it on the table. Bust out the rulers. Come on. These will be, these will be, this one will be ready maybe like a week. And I'm ready for all comers. I ain't scared. Scrappy ain't scared. Follow the vine. I'm following the vine. This is just one vine, motherfucking vine. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Wah, wah, wah.